What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a cookie consent bar using Elementor. Now we're going to be creating this bar right here. Now this bar is completely mobile optimized so I'm going to go to inspect here and as you can tell on mobile it looks perfect and on desktop it looks perfect as well. So if you guys want to learn how to make this cookie consent bar for your website, go ahead and stick around. So let's begin. Now the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin. So head over to your dashboard, go to plugins, click on add new, and then search for a plugin called element pack light. And then go ahead and install and activate this plugin here. and then head over to your um, home page or honestly guys I would highly suggest adding this on your header or your footer when you're able to use um, sorry when you're able to edit your header or your footer using um, Elementor the reason being is that you want this um, cookie consent bar to show up on every single page so if you do have the pro version or um, or you do have an extension where you can edit your header and footer using Elementor, I would highly suggest adding it on there. Now, if you don't know how to do that, um, I do have uh, plenty of videos on how to edit your header and your footer using Elementor. So, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and add this on my homepage. So go ahead and just um, edit your homepage with Elementor or your header or your footer. Now, what we need to do is go ahead and type in cookie and you're going to see this widget called cookie consent go ahead and just drag that into um, your page here and then you're going to see the bar down here so right here we have our message so we're able to adjust our message here but i'm going to leave that as is you have um, your bun text um, which has got it so i'm going to leave that as is that's great and then you're uh, learn more now you're able to adjust that as well, but um, I would honestly just leave that there. And then you do have your learn more uh, link, uh, which would just be your privacy link. Um, and you can just go ahead and paste that in there. And then you are able to position this. So you can have this either on the bottom left as a square or on the bottom right. And then you can have this bar at the top as well. But just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna have it at the bottom. And then you have your expiry days. So let's say someone goes on your website, um, pretty much they're not gonna see this bar here for seven days because they've already been on your website. But after those seven days, you're gonna see this pop-up bar again and they're gonna have to click got it. But we can go ahead and just extend that maybe to 22 days so they're not seeing this bar um, every seven days. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to style and then I'm just gonna adjust my um, bar here. So. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of my bar here on the background color so I can change this to green or any uh, color that I want but just for the purpose of this video and just because it does kind of go with my website here I'm going to leave it at blue and then the text color is white that's perfect and then my learn more uh, color here I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, kind of a lighter um, lighter uh, blue here so oops and not black so let's leave that at this blue I think that's perfect and then I can also adjust my uh, font size as well. So I can make that a lot bigger or a lot smaller. I'm gonna leave that to about that size. Uh, size there, I think that's perfect. And then my button here, I can adjust that as well. So I can change the button color and also the background. So I'm gonna make my background white and my button color blue, just because that goes with my website and I think that pops out a lot better. And then you can also add a border style to this, but I'm not going to add a border. And then you can also smooth out the edges by adding a border radius, which is what I'm going to do because that kind of goes with my uh, my buns here. So I think that's perfect. That's looking great. And then you can also adjust um, your padding of your um, bun as well. And then you can also adjust the, si the font size of your um, bun, which doesn't really make the bun bigger. It just makes the text bigger. Um, but I think that still looks great anyway. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that it's mobile optimized. I'm gonna go to tablet, that's looking great. And on mobile, it's looking great as well. So perfect, and I'm gonna go to click update, and then I'm gonna view this. All right, so now that's looking just, yeah, that's looking really good. Actually, it's probably one of the best bars that I've seen 
um, for uh, for Elementor here. So if you guys um, if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and like the video and subscribe so you. Don't